what's good guys welcome back to ron's rides welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video we're breaking news the new alpha male julia ev is a thing it's coming and it's gonna have over 500 miles of electric driving range or 800 kilometers of autonomy now the future alfro mail as well as all car manufacturers by virtue of the government and positions will be electric and the Bissignon is now therefore working on the finalizations of a plan dedicated to the ecological transition and based on a future of exclusively electric cars by 2027 now we know it seems clear that the future generation of the Alfa Romeo Giulia will abandon the traditional endothermic engines instead of units on which there is even more strict confidentiality. But instead, it is known that the future project will form the basis of the new Alfa Romeo Giulia and will be based on those of the STLA large platform by Stellantis. That's the one that will have derivatives in common with the refined Giorgio platform on which the Giulia and Stelvio are based today, as well as the new Maserati Gracale. And that's intended for large cars of the group born from the merger between FCA and PSA. Now the current generation of the Alfa Romeo Giulia has been on the market since 2016. And in 2020, they underwent minor changes, especially in terms of infotainment. Now the mod hybrid variant is expected that will also introduce some minor aesthetic changes at the level of the front headlights and will introduce matrix LED optics and a new virtual cockpit supposedly derived from the one already available on the Tenale. So therefore, it appears unlikely that the new generation of the Julia will still be equipped with traditional engines. Also by virtue of the fact that the complete switchover of the Alfa Romeo car manufacturer to electric power has been set and Gianfilippo Imperato himself confirmed that his crew is working on an electric successor in tune with the Italian brand's all electric strategy by those years. Now the wishes expressed from the beginning by the CEO was regarding the future of electric models of the Alfa Romeo house appear linked to the performance values that every new electric car with the Scudetto on the front must respect not only in terms strictly related to the speed values, but also the data relating to the range that can be reached with a single recharge and the possibility of recharging as quick as possible. Now the objective set for the upcoming Alfa Romeo Giulia is therefore equal to at least 800 kilometers or 500 miles of range in a single charge by virtue of batteries that should allow capacities between 101 kilowatts and 118 kilowatts, at least on the basis of information already disclosed on the group's investors. Now, in this way, the Alfa Romeo Giulia would simply place itself at the top of electrics equipped with the highest autonomy values available. Now, on the subject of recharging, the focus is instead on a value that is further at the top of its category. It is expected to obtain over 30 kilometers or 18 miles of autonomy for every minute of recharge. It must also be said that the Alfa Romeo Giulia will therefore not be put aside on several occasions. Gianfilippo Imperato has expressed strongly positive opinions on the segment D sedan, so his future is not in the least of doubt. It will happen. Now, despite the necessary shift to all electric powertrains, Alfa Romeo CEO has stressed several times that the manufacturer will continue to prioritize a sporty drive centric approach for which its cars have become famous throughout its 112 year history. So the aim is to guarantee lightness despite having to deal with the weights imposed by the battery pack and therefore by electrification itself. In short, the aim is to keep values of Alfa Romeo intact even when it comes to artificial implications, for example, in terms of sound. Now, on the more performance side of the Alfa Romeo Giulia range, the future of the Quadrifoglio characterization is not clear. There's clearly no potential for a more powerful all-wheel drive model to be paired with the SCLA large platform, with Stellantis starting at a 2 second 0 to 100 kilometer time possible for cars based on this technology. But it was learned that if Alfa Romeo were unable to deliver the right level of performance necessary to bring the Quadrifoglio model to a given sector, the brand would not compromise by building such a car. Now, Alfa Romeo will study a performance focused Quadrifoglio version for its all new cars, seeking to offer this more powerful and more aggressive option so that it remains fully consistent with the Quadrifoglio message that they have been representing from the start of the brand. Now, Stellantis will have three electrical modules at its disposal, with the third offering four 400 or 800 volt technology and up to 443 horsepower per motor. It means that to reach the level of performance required for an Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio, which would probably use a twin engine four wheel drive setup, this would have to be the most sustainable solution. 
To protect the characteristics of the brand, Alpha Romeo needs to have a member of his product team in development of the STLA large architecture. Now, the future of the Alfa Romeo Giulia will be part of the Bissioni's all-electric product offensive that will kick off in 2024 when the brand's first BSUV will introduce a fully electric variant to the Bissioni list for the first time. It will be followed by a launch or a major product event per year over the next five years with this plan already defined and fully funded by the Stellantis Group. Then there's a set of dream cars that Gianfilippo and Pirato would like to introduce, but that's another story. So what do you guys think right now? Confirmed, 500 miles of autonomy, 800 kilometers for the Giulia. It's going electric or hybrid. We're not exactly sure yet, but it's going to have a battery and it's going to be charging. We know that much. And we're still trying to figure out if they're going to be able to whip up a quadrifolio version on such a platform. Let me know your thoughts about this down in the comments below because we knew that it was coming. I think the 2023 models are going to be the last stint of the full ICE engine. And then we're uh, we're changing over, guys. It's going to be revolutionary for Alfa Romeo. And some say it's for the worse. Some say it's innovative and it's good. I want to know what you guys think down in the comments below. Let your thoughts be known. And if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Giving the video a like will help get it up in the rankings. More people can see it. And we'll have a bigger discussion on the new single charge range of the upcoming Alfa Romeo Giulia EV. Now, with that said, if you guys enjoy what I do here, I want to help further support the channel. Always check the links in the description below where I have a one-time link donation for my PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, and my Patreon. Just in case you guys want to donate an extra dollar or two to the channel. Appreciate that extra love and support, guys. Thank you so much. You guys can also check out the Ron's Rise merch. You guys want t-shirts, you want tank tops, you want stickers, you want glasses. Everything Ron's Rise is there. I'm also on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. It's everything I'm posting. Ferrari, Maserati, Alfa Romeo, and Fiat. Just in case it doesn't make it here to the channel. And make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Or click the notification bell so you don't miss one video. With that said, you guys be blessed. Have a great day. And we will talk to you guys in the next Ron's Rise video. Peace.